In response to pressure from students, parents, and teachers, the Great Neck School Board in 1970 established an experimental alternative school. Offers no restrictions on time, space, attendance, curriculum, or activity. It would not have been possible for us to submit to the State Department a detailed plan in advance of the program that would have answered all of the questions that every member of the State Education Department or anybody else for that matter might have raised. Maybe the real business of the village school is asking, what am I doing, why am I doing it, and what should I be doing? Can the student, by, by participating in this relatively unstructured uh, environment, prepare himself to cope with a more structured environment? And my answer to that question is emphatically yes. The danger, and we have abundant evidence of this, uh, is the other way around, and that is when a student who has been operating in a structured environment suddenly finds himself in a free environment, then there has been no preparation mm -hmm. in his own life for, for coping. I see no reason why I shouldn't go to college. Uh, wait, Jack, let it finish. Yeah, just, just wait a second. major battle I have as a teacher, anyway, is to, is to fight the 15 years of doing things one way where I dictate how things go. Well, I think one of the biggest things in letting go is if, for instance, you find your son or your daughter in bed at 11 o'clock in the morning on a day that's supposed to be a school day, that you don't flip because... <laughs> and I really do not believe that people can do nothing for any great length of time. I knew when I was doing nothing and I, then I began to do something because it, because it was my own guilt that said, you're doing shit, you want to say something? go out and do and I did it. I wouldn't even want to call those say three months or whatever time each individual student went through floundering wasted time at all because it in a sense is getting learning the process of learning rather than the actual content of it. We decided very early in the year that it was impossible for us to say what was educationally valuable and what was not. I got a lot accomplished last year as far as music goes. What it means to do what you want to do. You got to know what you want to do. At the American Museum of Natural History, I'm working on a paper on the schizocoral eye of the trilobite Fakeups Rana Variation Miller eye. And then after a while, I did my own science lessons with the whole class. Kids and teachers take their responsibility to one another more seriously in this school than in than any of the conventional schools that I have seen. And one kid. Uh, begins uh, to slide perhaps more than he should. Others begin to exert some kind of subtle pressure on him to, to sort of jog him out of that. Uh, I, I think we can only have a, a sense of community if everybody is working consciously for the same purpose. I don't think we're doing that. And I think it's perhaps too much to expect that we could be doing that. If you're looking for numbers, or tests, that's not the way one evaluates such a school. The danger, it seems to me, comes from without, and it will be whether, whether the, the more conservative portion of the community uh, will continue to tolerate you or, or whether they won't. And I, and I just can't make a prediction about that right now. I, incidentally, I also see some danger from the, from the conservative portion of the faculty. See, in the ultimate philosophic sense, um, my answer would be that the school is for everyone. Uh, I, I'm part of what I think and what I hope is sort of a dying profession. That it can become anything that the students want it to be, so that it never has to become one thing, so that you can always change it and it can always be flexible. I think the greatest asset of the school is that people have learned to teach themselves how to learn. The school is so much becomes what you want it to be in that you know, there's 64 people and there's 64 different schools. And because nothing's imposed and there's hardly any structure, you know, the school's what you totally make it. If you had it to do again, would you go into the school? Definitely. Definitely. Definitely without any question. Yeah, there's no doubt in my mind that I would definitely do it again. I would positively be in an old school again. These clouds stick to the sky.